Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you some more Star Wars stuff that I've got in the mail and I've also got a present here as some of you may know it's my 40th birthday today I'm filming this on the Friday it will be going live on the Saturday so it'll be the day after but it's my 40th birthday and my boyfriend got me in 1995 X-Wing so I'll show you this first it's got sound effects the wings go in formation and yeah it's amazing I don't know um, what collection it's from it's from 1995 but it matches the 3.75 figure range and it'll be an excellent addition to my collection because I'm never going to be able to get an original X-Wing because they're so expensive and they're always broken so for 19.95 the stickers are immaculate and yeah it just looks incredible so yeah I'm really happy to have that it'll be on display with my other items he also got me these I don't know if you've seen these on eBay these are like miniature recreations of the backing cards for the figures which is absolutely amazing because they're almost like trading cards uh, you can have a reference point for all the figures um, I do recognise some of these and there is a Nikto somewhere, I used to have a Nikto backing card in my youth, I just have it stuck on my bedroom wall but yeah they're really cool, I'll be probably putting them in the folder just so I can look at them better but yeah they are on eBay so go and check those out if you're interested in those then we have a box of bits here yeah. These are from several people on eBay, um, different sellers, and I've just put them in a box ready to show you. So first thing I'll show you is these, because I've already told you I was getting these. They are two Tom Toms. So they are different. You can see the slight colour variation on the horns. One is a solid belly version, and one is a split belly version. Now the solid one seems to be harder to find, I think it's earlier than the other one, even though they're both 1979. Uh, both need a clean, obviously. They're missing their saddles and reins because they just break. But yeah, they're cool. And I got them in a lot with this Wampa. Uh, this one is a very good example, it's not gone too yellow. Sometimes you see the bodies go really yellow and from sun damage I guess from age but yeah this is a nice clean example I did used to have a Wampa when I was younger and uh, really loved it his eyes are almost red glowing in some lights which is cool uh, his claws aren't too badly damaged you see a lot of paint rub on those from play but he's really cool I love him and he was one of the first things that I wanted to get when I started collecting the older figures again because I used to have him when I was younger and I loved him. He's so cool to display. His feet are like angled so you can have him walking um, but he does stand up straight as well but yeah and his arms still work as well so yeah I'm really happy with him. Uh, then we have this, this is a mini rig I can't remember its exact name. I uh, used to have a couple of these when I was younger. I never had one with a gun on before. Um, it does do that and you can put a figure inside. Um, it's, I think it's supposed to be based on a Hoth vehicle. So yeah, that's cool. But yeah, it's nice to have that again. And it's got lots more stickers than mine used to have. It was literally the bare bones, my one. <laughs> used to have. Then we have this. This is an Ewok combat glider. Now this is boxed. It's even got the price tag on, $2.99 from Tesco's. This was released in 1983. Probably around the time the catapult was. As you know I love my Ewoks so this will be ideal for my collection and it was boxed as well which was nice. The box is a bit faded it's got some sellotape on but I don't mind that, I didn't pay much for it so that's cool. Um, I will just show you it inside, it is literally just a glider. Uh, 
uh, and get it out. Okay, so it's a glide there. It's got all the bits. It's got the instructions as well. So yeah, it's got all the bits in there, which is really nice. And there's the instructions. I can't remember. I have got another set of instructions. Um, that are in worse condition than these, so I'll I'll sell my other copy. But that's a nice addition. I didn't realise they came with instructions in that box, but that's cool. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. It'll go well with my Ewok collection. Uh, then we have a bunch of figures, so I'll show you those next, and I'll save one of the best things till last. So you may have heard me talk in my last video that I was getting some Obi-Wan Kenobis. They arrived in the post. We have a white hair one and a grey hair one. When I was younger I used to have the white hair one. I'm going to be keeping one of these and it's going to be the white hair one only because that's the one I used to have when I was younger. And I'll sell the grey one uh, online. I've got replica lightsabers I showed you in my last video for these so they'll look really cool. Then we have two Luke and X-Wing pilots, one's better than the other, it's got the insignias on. Um, I bought two because they're off the same seller and I want two because I've got several things <laughs> like I've got a ship coming in the post that I haven't got, um, I don't think I've told you but I will keep that as a surprise, it's still to come in the post so I'm going to put one in there. I was going to put one in my snow speeder as well, but now I've got an X-Wing for my birthday, I will put one in my X-Wing, it'll probably be the better one as well. The X-Wing deserves the one with a better paint job I think, <laughs> so I will be putting them on my display. Then I've got a Lobot, I did already have a Lobot in my first haul I think, but he was really bad condition, this one's a lot better and it was only a couple of pounds. so. Yeah, I, I repurchased really Lobot. Then we have a really lovely example of a Hoff Princess Leia. Her paint is incredible. It's, it's like it's straight out of the packet. So yeah, I was really happy to find that. Then we have Fallom or Zuckus. I think it's actually called Fallom in the toy line. Uh, I do already have one, but he was without his plastic armour. So my other one will be going on eBay and I'll be keeping this one. Then we have another Reese. He was in a lot with Big Fortuna, who I'll show you in a second. Um, he's got a little nick on his arm at the back, but his paint job's quite good. Uh, but the main reason I bought the lot was because of this Big Fortuna. Again, I've already got one, but he was naked. <laughs> he didn't have any of his clothes. This one's got all his clothes. I'll be on the lookout for a staff for him as well. Uh, but yeah, he's cool because he's got all his bits. Then we have a Tuscan Raider and I can find it. Here we go. This is a Sand People or Tuscan Raider. The cloak is original, apparently. It feels original. This is a repro weapon though. But I, for the price I paid, I prefer to just have a repro weapon than actually pay over the odds for one with an original weapon. But yeah, Sand People, I had to get this one. It was one of my favorite figures as a kid. I had two. I had one with a cloak and one without a cloak. We never had these. We used cocktail sticks that we painted brown <laughs> for gaffy sticks. And uh, the blobs of blue tack for the bits on there. So yeah, it's nice to have a, a reproduction weapon. <laughs> I also got this. It's a low grey knapsack accessory. Um, it was only a couple of quid, so I thought I'd get that just for my Ewoks. Last of all is this. It was in the same cellar as my Hoth layer and the X-Wing pilots and things. It's an FX7. It's not too chewed. Sometimes you see these bits that are really badly chewed and broken. The arm's sometimes broken, but this is a really nice example, so that's why I got it. So yeah, and that's from The Empire Strikes Back. Last of all, we have this. Now, I used to have this as a kid, and it was one of my favourite toys. <laughs> I got it quite late in my collecting, so the Star Wars figure movies we used to make, I didn't have this in, because 
I got this quite late on in my collecting as a kid. This is Jabba the Hutt. He still moves, so you wiggle his tail and his body moves. You can see there, his arms still move up and down. This arm's a little loose, they do get loose over time. The plastic degrades a little, uh, but he seems to be okay at the moment. Now he's come with his uh, throne, I think they call that, throne base. It's got the stand for the pipe. The dungeon still works. So those move and open the dungeon. It's got the collar for the prisoner or salacious crumb if you want to put him in there. Now, it didn't come with salacious crumb or the pipe, but I found these on eBay. These are original bagged salacious crumb and the pipe, I can't remember its exact name. So that's nice. These, I don't know quite the story behind these. There's a lot bagged on eBay like this. I think there's a warehouse in China or somewhere, and they Hong Kong it says on there actually, that they found a whole load of these from the playset that were produced back in the day, but never put in the playsets. They overproduced them, I guess. Um, and there's sellers on eBay selling them. So yeah, I decided to get these new ones, and it just so happens I found a really cheap Jabba set that needed these parts. So I thought, well, if I buy the two, I get save some money because buying a complete Jabba set is a hell of a lot more expensive than what I paid. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. So I will be opening those up eventually. So yeah, that's my um, little haul. Um, I know I did a haul earlier this week, but for some reason, Royal Mail decided to come at nine o'clock in the evening <laughs> that day and bought most of this stuff with them. So <laughs> there must have been some sort of backlog in my town maybe. So I've got enough to do another haul video this week. So you've had double the haul videos that I was going to do and that's probably good because it's my birthday. You can have a, a birthday present from me. <laughs> so thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe to me to see my future videos. I don't know when my next haul video will come out because I haven't got a lot left to come from eBay at the moment. I'm trying to stop spending because <laughs> it's the end of the month. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you all soon.